We're only on the second load of the day or fourth load of the bag and we've had an eventful two days. So yesterday we did a load and a half and it was just water and hell. I mean, we had a, literally a crick coming out from underneath the bag of juice. It was that wet. Then today, first load, chop it fine. It's a lot drier. I mean, it wasn't perfect. Still pretty wet, but it was actually good enough to, to put in a bag. But right up here on the end of the bag, the freaking spindle on the front left tire breaks right off on that wagon there. So I limp it up to the bagger and everything's fine. I start unloading, I get about half of it unloaded and then it just breaks the rest of the way off. And then the wagon, you, you, you've seen the video, back tires two feet in the air, yeah, it was a good time. So me and dad, we forked to the, from the top beater to the middle of the wagon. We forked that off and threw it in the bagger. And then us and the neighbor jacked this side up and we got an old tire truck tire underneath the axle chained it to it so we could pull it ahead and unload the wagon and get it out of the way so that was quite eventful and while we're pitching the wagon off not this 40 for 40 but that one up there the heater hose springs a pinhole leak and it just pisses coolant all over the place so we had to swap the tractor out so we had two things break on the one load today it's been quite the day already <laughs> perception of what's all going on like you can kind of see the hills kind of roll more than if it was just the regular uh, wide view but I mean it looks really good I don't know what else to say but I love that drone it's so compact I'll have to show you but it's so tiny like I could put it in my hand and the thing goes like 35 mile an hour I flew it 6,000 feet away already and I still didn't lose connection like it's crazy but I don't know how I flew that thing and then chopped at the same time I, I'm kind of wondering how I even did that <laughs> running the switch box driving and then you got the sun glare terrible this time of day go the one direction you can't even see inside the wagon it's it's bad real bad but we're going to be pretty close to getting this bag done today uh, considering we really didn't get a good start till about 2 o'clock 1 30 2 o'clock something like that we originally started around 11 30 because it's so wet it's just been a pain to drive Cut this Friday early afternoon and just took till about noon today, which is Sunday, to get it even halfway dry. And it wasn't perfect. And then, of course, the spindle breaks off the wagon. 
and then another two hours. It's pretty decent. Now it's pretty decent. Not bad. That shield rattles is on the corners. That sucks. Yeah. It's not bad. This right here that we're chopping is probably the best silage that we have ever made, ever. So it's 27 days from cutting. This field is pure alfalfa. Usually you have a little bit of grass in it we planted, but we didn't do any in this field. It was the uh, more expensive alfalfa that's supposed to have your, if I remember it, higher protein and a few other things. Better feed quality alfalfa. Costs a lot more money, but we knew we'd be chopping this stuff for dairy cows. It's about the right moisture. If you look at the silage, there's all kinds of leaves in it. It's real leafy stuff. Nice and healthy plant. I mean, I don't know what else to say, but it's some really good stuff. But 4450, it handles this chopper with no issues. The only reason we would put the 49 on here is if one of the 50s was down then we would put the 49 on the chopper, maybe. Uh, we hooked it on the sprayer about the 5th of May, and it's August 1st and it still hasn't got unhooked yet because we sprayed corn and we sprayed hay, and we sprayed corn again, just parts of it, and then we sprayed after second crop for third, and now we're undecided we're gonna spray four. I'm not sure. It, it makes a big difference. I tell you what. Big difference spraying insecticide and fungicide. Overall, the growing conditions were really good. This crop, it was dry and warm, but we also had timely rains for it. Alfalfa likes a little drier side, but timely rains. Could have had just a touch more rain, probably would have helped, but overall, really damn good. Well, I guess uh, from here, we're gonna cut to the video with music. Uh, yeah, let me know which way you prefer. You like the, the music that is halfway okay? I mean, I can't never find anything good, or would you rather have the voiceover? I mean, I can only talk about something for so long. But uh, let me know what you think of the drone. Be sure to hit the thumbs up. It really helps out. Especially got to pay for that new drone now. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, uh, pretty good crop here.